delta omega unit is right below it, and that's kind of an unusual amp because that's an amp where you can adjust the output impedance. You can make it negative resistance as well as positive. You can overcome the wiring resistance and the resistance in the voice quo of your loudspeaker if you dial it to the appropriate number. Okay. In fact, I don't know if you've seen any of these customers, Larry. We had a customer that came to us and wanted a variant of a Delta Omega. And like he always asked the industrial customers, what connectors do they want on it? What input connector? He told us, oh, we don't want an input connector. What's an amplifier without an input? You know. Well, the answer is they were using the negative resistance to dial off the resistance in a wiring run between a couple of buildings. So they were setting it up so they were actually shorting the ground on those two buildings to each other by negating the wiring resistance. They only needed an output connector, no input connector. They didn't care what we put on for an input connector. So you get all sorts of things in the industrial environment. And that product there invited that unusual circumstance. But that unit too, I believe, to be working, you know, stuck in the museum. Most customers had issues with knowing how to tune them, okay? It's one of those things you need to know what you're doing when you're involved with it. <clears throat> 